But first, Las Cruces Police Chief Jaime Montoya is firing back at the Doñana County Sheriff's Office. Chief Montoya says cutbacks by the sheriff are a dangerous move that could put residents in danger. ABC 7's Josie Ortegon is live from our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom with a story you'll see only on ABC 7. Josie? Rick Estella, Chief Montoya says he thought the sheriff's cutbacks were surprising, to say the least. And he says they jeopardize public safety. AMI will call and make sure the scene's secure before they go in. Uh, CYFD, who we partner with a lot to do welfare checks, uh, it is uh, what I would consider a very dangerous job because they have to go into an atmosphere where a child's being abused or neglected. Welfare checks and medical calls are just two services on the list. Others include warrants at local courts, the detention center, and calls on the interstate. Sheriff e. Hill told us this week he simply doesn't have enough money to keep deputies from leaving for higher salaries. We're having to prioritize because we're really spread out thin. Some people may have to wait an extended duration for a response from deputies. Sheriff e. Hill claimed he was losing deputies to the police department because of a difference in salary. I think of when I look at our records as well. We've probably lost more to the Sheriff's Department than we have gained from the Sheriff's Department. Though Montoya would not speculate on the motive behind the memo, he says Sheriff V. Hill should go about it the right way. He says neither he nor the State Police Department were ever notified. A memo like this where you're changing services and procedures and policies, the best avenues to talk to your partners would be State Police, would be us. He says he realizes they're dealing with the staffing problem, but better collaboration is the answer. Whether it's in the city, the county, or statewide, our main focus, our oath, is what we, we said to the people, we're here to protect and serve. Chief Montoya also says that Sheriff V. Hill has not agreed to meet with him to discuss collaborations since he was elected last November. Live in Las Cruces with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Josie Ortegon, ABC7. Josie, thank you for the latest on this ongoing debate. Highway 62.